There is an awesome part of this day. An awesome part. Very awesome. I just got the call from Dad. He had his doctor's appointment today. Well, hello there, and welcome to Trucking with Schmidt. Hi. I love you. See you later. Have a good week, man. Hey, be good with those girls. Alrighty, little buds dropped off. Our agenda for this part of the first part of the week, guys, we're going to head back out to Cartersville, Georgia, um, with another load of ice cream out of Lamar's, Iowa. We're talking about the second part of the week. When the second part of the week comes, yes. Alrighty, you guys know what's going on. Let's go ahead and get our day started. Alrighty, Whew. you know I really wish that went as fast as uh, what it did on video. <laughs> it did not go that fast, but we are loaded up. We have our load behind us. Um, Cartersville, Georgia wants a heavy load of ice cream. Right now we are sitting right at uh, 79,960 pounds for a gross weight. Of course, we do have two full tanks of fuel right now, so that does make a difference. Our route today is going to be different than the last time. We're going to take Interstate 29 all the way down to Kansas City, and we're going to jump on Interstate 70 East, run that to St. Louis, and then we won't talk about where we're going to go past there for the route because uh, my plan today is to get parked just east of St. Louis, and then we'll finish out our trip tomorrow. Alrighty, now you guys are wondering, Schmidt, why you stopped already? Because no, we're not far into our day. We're down here in Missouri Valley, Iowa. I can straight up tell you we're not going to make it east of St. Louis tonight. I wanted to, but there's just too much on my list. We still got, I want to stop and get the truck washed yet. Um, I want to stop in Fawcett, Missouri. Oh, that's an awesome truck stop. Well, it's not really awesome, it's just old. It's one of the old remaining dinosaurs 
I'm gonna show you guys that a little bit. Plus, they're about the only truck stop I can find out here that sells my size of mattress for my truck, and I wanna get a new mattress for my truck. But, why are we stopped here already? If you did not watch the live stream yesterday, you won't understand this part, but this here is a twin, twin Bing candy bar. Twin Bing candy bars are, uh, are made right in Sioux City, Iowa. Um, apparently, for some stupid reason, I thought they were available all over. I thought they shipped everywhere. I thought they were just a normal thing that you would see at a gas station or truck stop until Warden and then a few other of you guys pointed out to me yesterday at the live stream that no they're not and a few of you wondered what in the world was a twin bing candy bar well let me show you what a twin bing candy bar is okay i had to put you guys inside the truck because it's extremely windy out extremely windy twin bing candy bar i have no clue you have to google it i have no clue what that is um, this is supposed to be some kind of cherry filling. It's cherry, but it, it's it's like marshmallowy, hard marshmallowy. Um, I, I think there's some nuts in here, some seeds. There's seeds in this chocolate. Really? You're not getting it. It's chocolate. Did you guys catch Opie's nose? Was his nose on camera? This is chocolate. You don't get it. That's just mean, Dad. I know. All right. You know what it is now. Let's go find a truck wash. You're, you're drooling all over my truck now. You're not getting it. Ready? Let's go.
Well, I had full intentions on uh, showing you guys around the truck stop here, and we might still run inside. Oh, sorry. We're at Ferris Truck Stop here in uh, Missouri, just just south of St. Joe, Missouri. Right. And we might go back in. I showed you just a pinch of it when we walked in to look for a mattress. They didn't have our mattress, and I was kind of shocked because they didn't have very many mattresses at all usually they, I'm talking here usually they have uh, all kinds of mattresses in there so I come back out to the truck because I was getting a phone call from dad and I wanted to take that get back out here got some awesome news holy smokes did I get some awesome news I'll let you know that news here in a minute we cut a tire that's not the awesome news but uh, at some point pulling in here well I take that back at some point today we cut a steer tire so we're gonna pull over here we're going to fill the tire up with there get her full and then we're gonna run back up to st. Joe which is five miles up the road and see if we can find well it's time for some new set of steers anyway Alrighty, we got enough air into the tire that uh, the air pegs here will allow. I do have a, an extra air line in the truck that we could just dig out and take it all the way up to the 110 mark, but we're going five miles. Yeah, we have a, I ran something over. It's about time for new drives anyway. But I wanted to wait because my drives I usually run on this truck are uh, uh, Firestone five, 590s, 591s. They're two to three weeks out. They're back ordered. Tire is back ordered. That's just been the name of the game this, this year. Is all my tires have been back ordered that I wanted to get. So I, I did order some, but they aren't going to be here in time. I'm going to go ahead, swing up to St. Joe, Missouri, and uh, see what they got. Yeah, we're going to go back north five miles. There's no way. We're, we're having an uh, interesting day. But let's talk about the good in it, because there is an awesome part of this day. An awesome part. Very awesome. I just got the call from Dad. He had his doctor's appointment today. My dad is 100% cancer free. Uh, he went in, if you guys haven't been following along for a while, my dad got prostate cancer. So he went in to, uh, they took it out. They took the prostate out and a bunch of stuff around the prostate, lip nodes type stuff. And there for a little bit, they were saying he was still going to have to do radiation or he was still going to have to do uh, something or another to make it to where he was cancer free because yes they did find a, a speck of cancer in a lymph node well they must have taken that speck out you know the test speck they found a speck of that gone so he went in and took a I think it's called a PSA test again today. I came back zeros, which means he is 100% cancer free. Here, go back in in three months just to make sure he is. But as of right now, everything is awesome. On that front, on my dad's front, on the home front, everything is awesome. And I am in a great mood for it. I'm, Dad, I'm glad you called and told me that and gave me some great news. Because I'm about to drop. Well, it'll be, it'll be over $1,000 probably in steer tires. Oh, 
awesome. Awesome possum. Who says that? Who's Josh? Yeah, old trucker Josh always says awesome possum. It's awesome. Well, like I was saying, it kind of looks like I'm a Yokohama guy now. I was talking to him about tires. I said, man, why is everybody out of tires? He said, the storm that moved across America, the, the same one that brought the rates that are skyrocketing rates in box trailers right now, one single storm affected that many stores that everything is back ordered with tires. One single storm. And I was saying the same thing back when the pandemic started for the whole virus thing, how easily we are crippled and brought to our knees. It just amazes me that one little storm like that. Out down in Texas, it was a big storm. Out of Arkansas, big storm. Texas and Arkansas, but the rest of the states from there on out, we should have been used to that. That shouldn't have affected us whatsoever. I guess a lot of tires must come from down south. So right now I'm going to let Opie run around and we're going to try to organize this day, try to get this day back on track. The only thing I keep saying is no matter how this day turns out in the wise of getting things done, getting to where I want to be, I'm parked. There's a sign for Mexican food. No, we got a truck. And uh, between all that, finding out my dad is cancer free, that's... It takes the cake topper right there. That makes everything okay. Today we can have all kinds of issues now because because of that one thing went that one thing going good is gonna make this entire week go good no matter what happens. Alright guys, well we got our tire done. Let's get on the road. Oh, you ready? You're gonna be in there for a little bit. Yeah right dad. You're gonna stop and get your truck washed, Sar. Get out again. Yeah, you're probably right about that. But we at least we have over 100 miles for a truck wash. Maybe not. We haven't even covered 300 miles today. That's insane. I'll be back with you guys in a little bit.
hold the fort down open. Okay, everybody say it at the same time. Oh, poor Opie, he's on a leash. I know guys, I feel sort of bad for him, but not really. Opie has inherited quite the, quite the not wanting to walk issues. Like right now, he's sniffing, which is perfectly fine. I know dogs sniff, but Last week, towards the end of the week, and then uh, three times or two times, no, three times I let him out today, I'd be halfway across the parking lot, look back, and Opie's just standing there staring, or standing there with his nose dug into the ground. So, Opie's on a leash, and he's going to walk. None of this just laying around, sniffing the ladies, trying to taste other dogs' poop, no more of that. We are going to walk and he's going to be okay with it. We are, I'm gonna go ahead and say we're probably about 60 miles from St. Louis. We're on Interstate 70 right now. Uh, we're at a rest area. No clue what mile marker. And I can't even tell you what town is around here. If you're familiar with the area, it's, it's the rest area before you go down to really, really big hill and climb the really, really big hill. <laughs> that made a lot of sense, didn't it? Well, actually, if you are from around the area, you're gonna know right where I'm at. Come on, Oak. No, no, just laying around. We're walking, and we're gonna like it. I see a lot of walking we can do come tomorrow. We're not gonna go down there now. It's dark. I'm afraid of the dark. What are you staring at? Dad, you're killing me, man! Get me off of this stupid leash! I know, it's killing you. It's killing him, guys. Well, we had a lot happen today. And I, quite frankly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to edit it all into this video or not. We couldn't find a mattress. Come to find out that Pilot Flying J has now bought... Sad. Has now bought Ferris Truck Stop. That's... Let him eat, man. Let him eat. Can you guys hear it? There you go. Hopefully you can hear it. That's just sad, though, that they bought that truck stop. I was wondering how long he'd last because it... Oh gosh, I'm going to miss that restaurant. I really am. Really, really am. Sorry I didn't give you guys a big tour of it, but at the time we had a tire going flat and I really couldn't mess around. But through all of that, I got the best news I've ever gotten that all of dad's test results came back negative PSA set right at zero so no matter what happened today no matter what happens this week no matter what happens throughout everything you're being very loud I'm just trying to tell you okay it just dawned on me I just told myself my truck was gonna be off all night. Now I gotta listen to you darn trucks with you darn Jake brakes. All right, back, sorry, seen a squirrel. Um, but no matter what happens, seriously, no matter what happens, getting that news was the best part ever. And thank you for all the thoughts and prayers you guys gave dad, gave me. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I mean, he's got a lot of recovery going through. He's got to go through yet just from the surgery alone. But I'm really hoping that everything just, I know it's going to stay good. Uh, every three months he has to go in. For the first year, every three months he has to go in for tests just to make sure everything is still staying good. Um, that's all. That's it. That's it. All right. Now I'm going to jump in the truck and try to edit a video together that is not insanely long. You guys, keep yourself safe and your family. And uh, as always, I'll see you next time. Dad, you're the meanest.
You're the meanest person ever. I want to let you know that. I don't understand why I'm on this. I don't want to walk. Walking is overrated. I want to sniff. You, you can't sniff all the time, Opie. You, you just can't. I'm sorry. There's times where you just have to walk. Fine, man. Let's get at it then. <laughs>